when we try to hit the ball down the line, we try to stay inside the court. Uh, the one of the things, and, and I know that there's, this is a different way of looking at it, is that many times people get outside, and you do, you, you have the ability to get out here, and if you have the ability to get out here, we can do that. Our opposite player, our right side player can do that. However, if you're passing and hitting, you have to somehow be in the court. And I believe that one of the hardest things if you get right outside the court and you get to here is that the only place you can do is that if you start to go inside, you can only go cross court. So we stay inside and we try to, as we cross, um, basically a lot of people call it the T that you go across there is to actually maybe stay even a little bit inside of that T and then go to the ball wherever it is. And even starting from here to stand back, see the set and go straight to it. So if it's straight inside, you go straight inside and you can still hit the ball down the line. If it's out a little bit, then you just move out. And so you keep that ball over your right shoulder and try to stay and go right straight to the ball rather than going out to a spot somewhere and then coming back and getting it. So it just, it allows you to keep the ball on the right side of your body and still hit the ball down the line at all times. They do. And so it, it, when they, to hit the ball cross court, in order to hit the ball cross court, you got to make sure you turn your feet, even as you hit, even go to the ball, and then you can still do that. Um, Liz probably has a... Yeah, so they're, they, theoretically they should be, lead, when they get there, they're here, shoulders are turned, same way you would be as if you're coming outside in. You should look the exact same way when you're going outside in. You just, you're in passing, have to do that coming back in. Both sides. Both sides. And we talk, you know, the interesting thing is on the right side, we will say, throw the ball down the line. So if you get stuck on the right side, we will at least, as if you're going to go up, jump, throw the ball down the line. And it, that probably, um, Stacy came up with that just recently, just to sit there and throw it down the line. And it's been a good thing of keeping their right shoulder over the ball. Same position. So here, just as if you were, you know, I talk all the time that if, if it's a pitcher and you're going that way, they don't stand on the rubber and do this. They stand on the rubber and turn and throw. So we like hitting the ball down the line. Um, it's somewhat hard to defend and then we so we go up they have to get set off Liz so they have to get four kills in a row um, to get out of to win the drill basically they have to get four kills in, no touch every time they get, make an error it adds one so now they need five if they get blocked it doesn't count against them or for them. And it was, so we put lines on the court so the block, if the block lands outside the line, that counts as a kill for them. Are we at two? One. Two. So they need five because they have one hitting here. And so the object is, I mean, you can hit it wherever you want, but the block's kind of big. <laughs> going cross court. So we make it almost impossible to hit cross court unless you go high. Two. And if you have a lot of people you can add defense and make it almost impossible. And if it gets dug it doesn't count against them. But they, it, you have to reset. It has to be four in a row to start with. So now they need six. This is hard to do. <laughs> oh, he's over. He's over. That's one. Or two. Is there a touch? No touch. Hitting air. Seven. So when they get to eight, then they lose. Hard. It's your feet turn, Bethany. So Bethany, as you come through, you can see you just go kind of here, and it's almost like that. Rather than, I mean, it's okay as you come in here. It's okay if this step is wherever it's going to be. Is that if you're going to go in here, and then you have this other step, but go hard. Don't make this big. I mean, this is rhythm until you get to there, and then go. And if it's inside, just go wherever the ball is. Again, wait, see, and go. There you go. Ooh. 
That's a great swing, kiddo. Net, one. You're in nowhere land. You're, you have to go cross court when you set yourself up like that. Oh, Liz, that's a great swing. That's a great swing, kiddo. You gotta hit that hard, Maddie. They don't have to hit line. They can hit it anywhere they want. Um, but that's the only. But you can tip it if you can. If you can, if you can get them, you can hit it wherever you want. However, oftentimes we'll put. I mean, we'll have like four or five people over there. So if you tip it, it won't matter. So you can put it on the floor however you want, but you're gonna have to find a way around that block. <laughs> <laughs> Game. That's it. So they eight. So they they lose. Now we'll switch sides. Switch groups. Switch sides. Same thing. Same concept. Stop. That's two. He went over. His toe went over. Wait, Canace. Wait. One. There you go. Two. That's perfect. If you keep it that height. Let's jump. Throw it down the line. Throw it down the line. If you're going to reach out, you have that. One. One block antenna. Touch one to the corner, to the corner, to the corner. If you're going to go there, if you're not going to go line, then you got to go to the corner. Two. Good job, Ari. Yep, I'm sorry, I gotta call that. Three. Antenna at five. Completely different height, Lorne. <laughs> 